Case 5 na tayo sa ating integration by trigonometric transformation. At ang case 5 ay para sa integral of secant traced to n of u du or integral of tangent traced to m of u secant traced to n of u du. Integral of cosecant traced to n of u du or integral of cotangent traced to m of u cosecant traced to n of u du where n here is an even positive integer. Ang mga transformations natin na kailangan, ano, para sa integral of secant traced to n u du or integral of tangent raised to m of u secant traced to n of u du secant squared u equals 1 plus tangent squared u. At cosecant squared u equals 1 plus cotangent squared u para sa integral of cosecant traced to n of u du or integral of cotangent traced to m of u cosecant traced to n of u du. Okay, so let us have example about this case. Ano? Example number 1. Meron tayong integral of dy divided by y squared cosine to the power of 6 of 1 over y. Okay? So, solve natin to. So, itong integral na ito ay equal din sa integral of, no? So, yung 1 over cosine to the power of 6 of 1 over y equal din siya sa secant to the power of 6 of 1 over y. And then, times dy divided by y squared. Okay? So, yung exponent ng ating secant dito, yung ating n, ay positive even integer. Kaya, gagamit tayo ng transformation na secant squared u equals 1 plus tangent squared u. Ang u natin dito ay yung 1 over y. Ngayon, ang hint dito sa case na ito, no? Kinakailangan natin mag-factor out ng isang secant squared of 1 over y. At yung natitirang secant ay ililipat natin sa tangent gamit yung uh, transformation na secant squared u equals 1 plus tangent squared u. Okay? So, let's do it. No? So, maglalabas tayo ng secant squared 1 over y. So, matitira sa secant to the 6 ay secant to the 4th. So, secant to the 4th of 1 over y. And then, secant squared of 1 over y and then times dy divided by y squared. So, itong secant squared of 1 over y, kailangan natin yan, ano? hindi natin siya i-convert into tangent. Ano? So, ito ang papalitan natin, itong secant to the fourth of 1 over y, ay i-convert natin into tangent. So, yung secant to the fourth ay equal din sa secant squared of 1 over y, and then quantity squared. And then times secant squared of 1 over y. And then times dy divided by y squared. Okay, so gagamit na tayo ng transformation para sa secant squared of 1 over y. So yung secant squared equals sa 1 plus tangent squared. So gagawin tayo ng integral of 1 plus tangent squared of 1 over y. And then quantity squared. And then times secant squared of 1 over y. And then times dy divided by y squared. Okay? Tapos nun, let us expand 1 plus tangent squared of 1 over y squared. No? 
So we will have 1 plus 2 tangent squared of 1 over y. And then plus tangent to the fourth of 1 over y. And then times secant squared of 1 over y. And then times dy divided by y squared. Tapos doon, itong second squared, 1 over y, dy over y squared, mumultiply natin sa loob at paghihiwahiwalay natin yung integration ng bawat term. Ano? So, tuloy natin dito. So, 1 times second squared, 1 over y, dy over y squared. So, magkakaroon tayo ng integral of second squared of 1 over y and then times dy divided by y squared. And then plus uh, 2 tangent squared 1 over y times secant squared of 1 over y dy over y squared. So yung 2 ay constant, lalabas natin. Ano? So, meron tayong tangent squared of 1 over y. And then secant squared, secant squared, secant squared of 1 over y. And then times dy divided by y squared. And then Tangent to the fourth of 1 over y times second squared of 1 over y dy over y squared. So, plus uh, integral of tangent to the fourth of 1 over y. 1 over y. Second squared of 1 over y. And then times dy divided by y squared. So, dito sa middle term at dito sa last term natin, ano, mag-let you tayo equals tangent. Pag nag-let you tayo equals tangent of 1 over y, makakakuha tayo ng derivative na second squared of 1 over y divided by y squared. So, magiging... Uh, integrable yung middle term at itong last term magiging integrable siya by power rule no so let u equals tangent of 1 over y so du ah huh? Derivative of tangent is secant squared. So, secant squared of 1 over y. And then times the derivative of 1 over y, negative dy divided by y squared. Uh, okay? So, bakit naging ganun ang derivative ng uh, 1 over y? Uh, so, yung derivative ng 1 over y... Uh, equal din ito sa derivative ng y to the negative 1. So, pag kinuha natin yung derivative nyan by power rule ay negative y to the negative 2 dy. So, pag binaba natin yung y to the negative 2, magiging negative dy over y squared. Tapos nun, itong term na second squared, 1 over y, dy over y squared, ano, ay isosol natin in terms of du. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng negative du equals second squared of 1 over y and then times dy 
divided by y squared. Tapos nun, itong mga integral natin ay susulat na natin in terms of u. So, meron tayong integral sign para sa una, no? Tapos itong term na second squared, 1 over y dy over y squared. So, you see, it is equal to negative du. So, yung negative sign lalabas natin. And then, plus 2, no? Plus 2. Ha? Plus 2. And then, integral sign. Tapos, meron tayong tangent of 1 over y. But, we let that equal to u. So, papagdan nyo natin ng u yun, ano? And then, squared. Tapos, itong term na second squared of 1 over y, dy over y squared ay negative du. So, negative times positive magiging negative, ano? Negative du. And then, negative times positive, magiging negative. Integral of, so meron tayong tangent of 1 over y uli, equal sa sa u, raised to 4. So, itong second squared of 1 over y, dy over y squared, so equal sa sa negative dy, you know, ayun na yung negative. At, pwede na tayo ngayon mag-integrate, ano? So, negative integral of du equals u. Minus 2, integral of u squared du ay u cubed over 3, you know. And then, minus integral of u to the 4th du equals u to the 5th over 5. And then, plus the constant of integration c. Tapos nun, ibabalik natin yung value ng u na tangent of 1 over y. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative tangent of 1 over y. Tangent of 1 over y. Minus 2 thirds. So, yung u natin ay tangent of 1 over y. Tangent of 1 over y. Tapos ito, nakarest sa, sa 3. And then, minus u to the fifth of over, o oh, u to the fifth divided by 5, ano? So, tangent to the fifth of 1 over y, o, oh, and then divided by 5, ano? And then, plus C. At, ito na yung ating sagot. Ano? So, negative tangent of 1 over y minus 2 thirds tangent cubed of 1 over y minus tangent to the fifth of 1 over y divided by 5 and then plus C. Sample number 2 tayo sa ating case number 5. Ano? So, meron tayong integral of cotangent to the power of negative 7 over 2 of 2x. Cosecant to the fourth of 2x dx. So, dito sa example na ito, ano? Ay, meron tayong m. Ano? Ang m natin. ay negative 7 over 2. At ang ating n ay equal siya sa 4. No, positive even integer. So, dito gagamit tayo ng transformation na cosecant squared du equals 1 plus cotangent squared du. No? So, yun yung gagamitin nating transformation. Pagawin nga na itong tomong J. So, ang hint uli dito no, ay maghihiwalay lang tayo ng isang 
cosecant squared this time, ano? At yung natitira ang cosecant, lilipat natin sa cotangent, ano? So, meron tayong kopihan lang muna natin uli ito, ano? Itong ating problem, i-rewrite natin. I-rewrite yung ating problem. Okay, so tulad ng nasabi ko, no? so una, magpa-factor out tayo ng isang cosecant squared of 2x. So magkakaroon tayo ng integral of cotangent to the power of negative 7 over 2 of 2x. So, magkakaroon tayo ng cosecant squared of 2x and then cosecant squared of 2x. And then times dx. So, itong cosecant squared of 2x na ito, kailangan natin ito para sa derivative ng cotangent. Ano? Kaya, hindi natin siya ililipat into cotangent. So, ito lang isang cosecant squared of 2x ang lilipat natin sa cotangent gamit yung transformation na cosecant squared equals 1 plus cotangent squared. So, magkakaroon tayo ng integral of cotangent to the power of negative 7 over 2 of 2x. So, yung cosecant squared of 2x equals sa 1 plus cotangent squared of 2x. 1 plus cotangent squared of 2x. Cotangent squared of 2x. And then, times cosecant squared of 2x dx. Ano? cosecant squared of 2x dx. Kaya rin nun, itong cotangent to the power of negative 7 over 2 of 2x, cosecant squared of 2x dx, mumultiply natin sa 1 plus cotangent squared of 2x at pag-iwalay natin ang integration ng bawat term. Ano? Kaya makakaroon tayo ng integral of so cotangent to the power of negative 7 over 2, 2x cosecant squared of 2x dx times 1 equals cotangent to the negative 7 over 2 of 2x and then cosecant squared of 2x cosecant squared of 2x and then times dx and then plus, no? Tapos, kakaroon tayo yung integral of So, cotangent to the power of negative 7 over 2 of 2x times cotangent squared of 2x. No? So, erring squared, gagawin nating 4 over 2. So, negative 7 over 2 plus 4 over 2 ay negative 3 over 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng cotangent to the negative 3 over 2 of 2x and then times cosecant squared of 2x dx
So, dito sa mga integral na yan, no? pag nag let you tayo equals cotangent, makakuha tayo ng derivative na quasicant squared of 2x. No? Kaya, magiging integrable itong mga integral na ito by uh, general power rule. Ano? So, let you equals cotangent of 2x. Cotangent of 2x. So, ang DU natin, ang derivative ng cotangent ay negative cosecant squared of 2x times derivative ng 2x na 2dx. Tapos na itong term na cosecant squared of 2x dx no, ay isosolve natin in terms of du. So, multiply both sides by negative 1 half. So, negative 1 half du equals cosecant squared of 2x dx. Okay? Patapos nun, itong ating mga integral ay isusulat natin in terms of u. So, meron tayong equal sign, ano? So, meron tayong integral sign cotangent of 2x but we let that equal to u. Tapos, to the power of negative 7 over 2. Negative 7 over 2. Negative 7 over 2. At meron tayong cosecant squared of 2x dx equals sa, sa negative 1 half du. So, yung negative 1 half ay constant. So, lalabas natin siya ng integral sign. And then, plus, no? And then, positive times negative, nagiging negative tayo, no? So, dito, dahil meron tayong cosecant squared of 2x dx din, ano? Magkakaroon din tayo ng negative 1 half du. So, yung 1 half, ilalabas na natin ng integral sign. And then, meron tayong integral sign. Tapos, meron tayong cotangent of 2x equals sa, sa u. Raised to negative 3 over 2. Okay? So, yung cosecant squared of 2x dx equals sa, sa negative 1 half du. Ito na yung negative 1 half. No? And... At pwede na tayo ngayon mag-integrate. Ano? So, tuloy natin yung integration dito. So, negative 1 half. U raised to negative 7 over 2. No? Integral of U raised to negative 7 over 2 du by power rule. So, mag-plus 1 tayo. No? So, negative 7 over 2 plus 1 ay negative 5 over 2. So, magkakaroon tayo ng U raised to negative 5 over 2. So, divided by negative 5 over 2 or times negative 2 over 5. Ano? Negative 2 over 5. Or times negative 2 over 5. And then, minus ano? 1 half Integral of u raised to negative 3 over 2 du equals u raised to negative 1 half. And then divided by negative 1 half or times negative 2. Uh, and then plus c. Okay? So, dito cancel ang um, 2. And negative times negative is positive. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 over 5. Positive 1 over 5 na constant. Ano? At pagkatapos nun, yung value ng u ay ibabalik natin equal siya sa cotangent of 2x. Cotangent of 2x. Tapos, raised to negative 5 over 2. Negative 5 over 2. 
And then negative 1 half times negative 2 ay positive 1. So, ito ang magiging plus. No? So, yung u natin equals siya sa cotangent of 2x. Cotangent of 2x. And then raised to negative 1 half. No? At ito na ngayon ang ating magiging sagot. Ano? So, ang sagot natin, 1 fifth cotangent to the power of negative 5 over 2 of 2x plus cotangent to the power of negative 1 half of 2x and then plus c.